weird road. It's kind of half gravel, half uh, paved. Well, it's really two thirds paved and one third gravel. And there's sections in between the gravel of really like packed, smooth dirt. Um, so I thought I'd go over a little bit about the tires I chose. The only three requisites I had for these tires were that they be snow tires, that they be aggressive looking and tread wise, and that they be a affordable tire from a company name that I recognize. I didn't want to go with any of the like way out there Chinese tires that I've never heard of. Um, I was looking for the most budget oriented, which means some kind of decent quality, but for an affordable cost. Um, and I bought the Sumitomo Ice Edge tires. I have yet to be able to try them out on snow and ice. It's been a late snow season. Um, this year we haven't had much snow. I don't know when we'll actually get any snow in this area. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but the thing that I knew I'd be doing mainly with them is driving on dirt and gravel. And so far they've been really good. Um, they are a snow tire, so they are a soft compound. They are designed to work well in ice and packed snow as well. They do have the, oh, I had a fourth requisite that I just remembered. They had to be the three peak, um, three mountain peak, whatever they call it, uh, tire, so that I could drive through the passes when chain law was in effect and not have to use chains. And um, I think I paid $45 a tire plus mounting and balancing, which was, or 49, which was put it right at 50, let's see, $65 a tire ish. Um, and so far I'm really happy with them in the gravel and on the dirt. They scrub the loose stuff out. I, I don't get much sliding on loose gravel. It scrubs it out and then I grab real well. Dirt, same thing. Scrubs out dirt pretty well and, and gets down to hard pack and in the dirt that's really soft and sand. I haven't had an issue. I love the tires. They're really great. They are a very soft compound. They stick to asphalt like crazy. Haven't noticed a lot of wear on them yet, but I've only been using them for around three weeks. Um, maybe a little bit more, maybe a, five weeks now. Um, I haven't noticed chunking from the gravel and stuff, and there's a lot of chunky gravel around here, which is a good thing. But um, I have noticed that the edges, the blocks are rounding off a little bit on the logs, which it, that's to be expected when you use them like I do, driving on asphalt and then out in the desert and on gravel a lot, which means that they're not going to stay competitive for very long if you're looking at them as a daily driver and rallycross tire. But any true rallycrosser will tell you you don't use the same tires in rallycross that you use on the daily. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. But I'm using them as both because. I'm not trying to be competitive in rallycross, like seriously, I'm just having fun. And more than that, I'm having fun out in the desert weekly. I mean, that is the, the thing. Um, they seem to resist side cuts and, and punctures well. That's good. So, so far, um, for a tire that mounted and balanced cost me around 65, 60 to $65. I can't remember exactly. Super happy with them. Um, they had the tire in the 185-65-15, great. That lifted the car from the um, 165-50-13, I think, or 195-50-13, I don't remember, uh, or 195-60-13 that I had on here. It, it, the 185-65-15, 15s lifted the car an inch or an inch and a quarter actually which was nice gave me more ground clearance and at this point i'm just having a blast driving through gravel and country roads so i hope that this um and with a good amount of air pressure in them 
I can drive 35, 40 miles an hour through like really heavy chicane, loose stuff, and it'd be very controllable without even really hitting the brakes. So I'm, I'm really having a good time with them. I think it's great. Um, I, I don't have any complaints, but I'll give you a long, uh, a long time review of them here in the future as well. So hope that this was helpful for you guys. Hope you're liking the videos. Please don't forget to stop by and check out everything um, that I'm putting up. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll get the VGR Fab, you'll get Off-Road Independence, and of course, Honda, Honda C-Rally X videos. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Uh, till then, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell beside the subscription button, and I'll see you then. Bye.